for me at least when I'm experiencing a piece of music, I completely lose the sense of time. So I want people to just get lost momentarily and get lost into the entire musical experience of the whole program. I want everyone else's creative input because the sum of all of us working together is greater than us and ourselves. Like we can create something that's greater than ourselves and I think band will lead the way in doing that. This weekend, we're breaking up, um, we're recording the Schoenberg and the Jennifer Jolly piece, and it's, we just have this nice schedule of late night rehearsals and normal afternoon rehearsals, and we're breaking it up in different sections, and we're just going to get it perfect. The recording project is going to be daunting. Obviously, it's physically draining to play for three hours at a time, take a two-hour break, play three hours, you know, back and forth like that. But to be under such a microscope and with the, the repertoire that's being recorded, it's, it's, it's all challenging repertoire that has so many intricacies and details. And to have someone just looking at it under a microscope and say, no, I need you to do these four measures again and do this, make this one little tiny thing better, that it, it can get a little frustrating and it can get physically tiring, but more importantly, get very mentally tiring. I'm always excited to do an ensemble, always, just because it is so much fun. There's never a moment where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have rehearsal. So I'm excited and I'm also nervous about how my energy level will remain, remain high. Are you guys ready for us in the control room? They may not be. I know that. Uh... Sorry, we're talking about. No, sure. Uh, yeah, we're ready when you are. Oh, okay, great. We're gonna start with the end of the piece. Yes, Mark five seven. Five seven. Yes. Okay, let's choose. Is low and so it's anything with oboes. So you can give us as much sound as you can. I think Marimba will help us out quite a bit at 602. They play as strongly as possible, 602. Uh, so Adam's looking for a little more of 60 notes as they filter through up to about 620. In terms of the recording session, it's still out of my control, but if something goes in, in, in a direction that I'm not 100% sure about or I don't think is necessarily the right direction, then we can stop them. And, and, and I can actually make an adjustment. Everyone else in the world gets the opportunity to hear this music anytime they want. So in a way, it's a little bit stressful because we're setting the, the precedent, we're setting example on how this piece will be performed later. But it's also really cool because later on down the line, we'll know, hey, we did that recording. That's a recording people listen to.
I'm trying to figure out what all the numbers mean. You know? Bacon, egg, and cheese would be great. Okay. <laughs> Do you need to document the applying of the sauce? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the proper technique, actually. Got that? Good morning! Mm -hmm. Good morning. Alright, bus time. Oh my goodness. Doesn't it look great? Yeah, it's a very colorful plate. I know. scrambling right now so we're not going to start playing for a few minutes just a reminder that when we get to the encores the first one is Susa maybe second one is you got it okay perfect <laughs> beautifully. Can I just make one comment for the strings? When you come in, if you would give us more jagged accents at different times than the person next to you. So what we really want to hear is you know, sort of going all around the sound. So the people who are sitting there are surprised because it shouldn't be together at all. And then you just gradually slow the tremolo down and then go to the long note. It's going to be terrific. Thank you guys so much for helping us. It'll be great. Very resonant home. It has a beautiful warm sound. It comes together about 10 feet behind me. But our seats on stage are not the best seats in the house. And they're not the best seats in order to hear a cost. So everybody who is in here has to face the same thing. So you have to listen really intently. And then Trust us and trust yourself. The only thing we want to do is after each piece, just like we did in mass, we're in the same way. So if you wouldn't mind clearing, you know, it'll probably take us uh, an extra minute or two to, to reset for each piece because of the tears. So if you wouldn't mind getting clearing out, that'd be a huge help. Thank you. One there. We need to put either one here or... Or why don't we put one? We'll do the one here. Okay. And then y'all pull one. Three. That'll be fine. We just need, we need to, we take, need to take, three. take three from three. the third row.
Did you make an announcement this time? No announcement. This time. No announcement. We're just going to rock and roll whenever they're ready. We just don't know what to do if you go. I know. I'm, I'm like go. a fish out of water right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. We can bring the house lights down. Though. Okay. Stand by. about this piece because at first it was one of those pieces I think that just had to be written just because I was thinking so much about the 50th anniversary of this event and who am I who am I as a composer to be like oh I'm gonna write about this event you know I'm I'm in my mid 30s I'm not a Texan who am I to do this and I have to say tonight it was just very touching that people thought that I really spoke to that event and really spoke to them and that to me is amazing and I'm, I'm very humbled by that. The jolly was oh my extraordinarily gosh. beautiful. Definitely. Yeah. That had a moment, you could hear it like resonating in the hall. It really, you yeah. could tell it impacted the audience. Very, very well received. There was a standing ovation after the jolly, which was pretty unexpected from I think everyone. It was a great crowd, very enthusiastic. Um, it, was, it was great. It was overall just a wonderful performance. I thought it was great that it was different members of the community, not just like friends and family supporting us. It was interesting uh, that it's, our music's reaching different people. Mallory just came off the bus a second ago, so she'll be back. Mitch is here, and Brian is here. <laughs> Luke, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> is it really gonna be compelling for someone to read the attendance? You never know. You what? never know. <laughs> yes. You never know. Part of the experience. Except for Tyler. Tyler comes on. At that point, Andrew gives the A's. Do you want one or two? Two A's. Okay, so Andrew, you'll give us two A's on the second one. You'll sit. And then Dr. Dunnigan's going to come out and make an introduction. I'll come out. You'll stand. We'll do it the same way as we did in, uh, actually, now both times. No Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Please don't do that. So we'll start We start right with this. Okay, so can we just try it? Um, two things. I want to do the ending, or near the ending, at, right before Andrew comes in. So
So can we pick this up, please, at E? Everybody remember from, uh, Stephen Montague from back in the fall? section so you're not on the side. Horns. If we could put, we're going to have to divide, yeah, 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 right, you know what to do. And so you're not right next to each other, so you're spreading out. bass drum hit or something really loud uh, in the low end. The low end is not represented here. Okay. Uh, the playing is wonderful. And the, the, the low brass, the, 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 uh, the bass drum has to come in with that all the time. Gracias. 
I want people to be able to escape their their lives momentarily and and enter the world that this music takes them into. And whatever experience they have, they will have. Obviously, I, I hope that they are moved by the journey that they're taken on. I think that at this point, yes, it's been accumulating to this performance that everybody on the ensemble has really lived with it and traveled with it. And they sound fantastic in the Kaufman Center. And I think things are starting to gel. And I'm really excited about this performance tonight. I love how music can, it, it, music unfolds throughout time, but oftentimes, I, for me at least, when I'm experiencing a piece of music, I completely lose the sense of time. So I want people to just get lost momentarily and get lost into the entire musical experience of the whole program. It was incredible. It was so much fun. It was amazing and exciting, exhilarating, <laughs> wonderful. I was really hoping for the best today and I feel really happy with how I did. It's kind of surreal that we're here, but it was really, really great. I don't know, it was standing ovation after standing ovation. It was great. I have so much pride. What was awesome was at the end of the clarinet concerto, so I was like, bravo. You know, it was cool. You know, it, you could tell just the energy that was happening on stage. That, you just knew that reaction was gonna be great. They lost their minds, it was great. It was probably my last UT1 Ensemble concert and the Schoenberg was really special. Um, it's nice to be aware of how special something is while it's happening. It's my last concert. It was a great concert to go out on. I'm gonna miss the ensemble, but we all gotta move on, you know? I think it was really special for the Wynn Ensemble to start to get to know each other a little better, because we, we had to, but, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. You know, I'm actually kind of sad, you know, we've invested so much time on this music and, you know, now it's over, just like that, you know, and I got to know every, everyone in this ensemble so much more and it, it's an experience I'll never forget. I don't look at it as a success or not a success. I think there's always elements in my mind and all of my music that can be improved. And so for me, what I love about composing is, is I, I, I believe it's, an, it's a, an art form and the craft behind it is, is a process that can take you throughout your entire lifetime. And for me, I just want to keep pushing myself and challenging myself to get better and to um, to just evolve as a composer and it also makes me evolve as just a human being. You know, I'm the composer and yes, I write the piece of music, but it doesn't end there. I want 
everyone else's creative input because I think the sum of our parts or like the, the sum of all of us working together is greater than us and ourselves. Like we can create something that's greater than ourselves and I think band will lead the way in doing that. So for me, this has been a, a wonderful introduction to this community. I absolutely will definitely do more. I love writing for strings and I love the full orchestra palette. Uh, but the wind ensemble palette is, is, it's dynamite. And it has a wonderful, very healthy way of commissioning new composers, new repertoire, because they haven't had repertoire. I think it is definitely on an upswing. And I wouldn't even call it a swing per se. I really think it's like a constant growth upward to create better and better music, to create more challenging repertoire, um, more um, like, emotion in its in its ensemble. I think it has a way to go, but it is going in a most spectacular way possible. Really, really all I want to say is thank you. I want to thank Jerry, I want to thank the UT musicians, I want to thank you, I want to thank all of the TAs. I mean this is truly a a it's an extraordinary institution. The music program is run at an incredibly efficient way. And and as I said, you know, Jerry is, has been a dream collaborator and I could not have asked for a, a greater and better introduction into this community. So for me, really, it's, it's a thank you.